Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, in this episode we're not going to continue where we left off. <clears throat> I spent a good portion of the day making sure that um, we didn't. So, um, to first starters, the door does work uh, in its current configuration, the way it had been, the way it, it and it's going to stay that way. Um, swap this out to a different style button. It's a little bit easier. So, this works. It seals. Uh, how do I know it seals? Okay, um, so we're going to pan around. <laughs> I'm kind of hiding what I've done. Um, so, basically, I've redone the layout for the Kestrel um, in an attempt to try to seal off certain areas and whatnot. Um, so, you know, it's like the windows are gone there, um, the refinery is not sticking up right, neither is the assembler, the assembler is down here on the floor now. Um, I swapped out that large massive reactor for several smaller ones. Um, actually I think this is producing more power than before. Um, you see we have oxygen up there and med bay here. I'll probably still spawn outside the ship, but um, one problem at a time. Uh, if you notice in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, um, I have oxygen. So I'm not stressing because I figured stuff out today. Um, cut a lot of conveyors because things kept getting moved and such and then realizing the piping is going all over the place which needs, still needs to get cleaned up but um, but putting 90s leaves a hole so a lot of things get, need to get repainted I see like this is all mismatched colors the floor is mixed matched over here um, so We've got a lot of work to do, but um, the system is stable. So um, basically what I found out was is um, there's a hole forward to here. Um, I believe it's right here. So not quite sure where to, where where it is. Um so basically I put a bunch of bulkheads. I'm going to put another door here so there's a door on both sides. Um, yeah, I haven't checked up here yet to see if it holds air just in here, like how I close this door. Can I get oxygen in here? I haven't tried that yet. So, yeah. So, um, here we go, watch this. Yellow means no pressure. Come over here, close the door. As the door closes. Boom, blue. So right now they're set to depressurize, so they suck air in. They don't let any air out. I have two, I have one right here. Um, as they don't have a mirrored uh, med, med bay. Uh, I might just take that one and put it right there. Um, so there's a connector or conveyor right here. There's space on the other side of that wall. So that's where we'll put a connector to get to the refineries. Um, still got to wire some things up with like sensors and such. Um, I think that door will go on a timer uh, instead. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, also, um, I've been s scavenging the barge for parts because we were low on resources. Um, I started looking at the way they changed the cockpits. Basically, renders all other ship designs useless. Um, so we just got done doing the Castrell's shuttles 
and she doesn't the shuttle doesn't have oxygen piped into it so you need to connect the cockpit to the storage systems and place one of these oxygen bottles in it and that will get you oxygen to your system inside your cockpit as long as that door is hooked up hooked up to eventually getting there I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one um, let's try that All right, so I'm pretty sure it has to be hooked up to this. Yeah. So you see how there's two small holes on that side? And a massive one on that side. So basically, this door that's facing us has to be tied to the back of that cockpit. And those doors need to be tied to your storage system. So if you do that and then put an oxygen bottle inside your inventory of your ship, your cockpit will get oxygen. I'm not happy with this um, because every single one of our ships would have to be completely redesigned to take that into account. None of our ships have the capability of doing this closest one is this guy because they added a large opening on the bottom but that thing sticks out almost two blocks tall so they have this big chin hanging out the bottom of the scorpion worse than we had before not as bad as the grinders but still pretty sucking um, same thing over here <coughs> excuse me um, granted, can move all this back, but all this piping that we have it added in rendered useless. It can have to be redesigned. So, yeah, I didn't realize this until... What is that? So that's, our, that's the bottom of our cockpit. Yeah, we can add a, a nice little fat bump on the bottom of the ship. So yeah, I brought the Kestrel back from harvesting ice, and I came out and I saw the shuttle, and I was like, "Oh man, we just gotta, we just gotta change this up just a little bit." And I started looking at it, I was like, "It's not a little bit; it's a lot. We have to move everything back like three blocks. Um, huge pain." So. I've just decided that these are just going to not get updated going forward. We'll do systems like that. Just going to carry oxygen bottles on us. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be taking apart the uh, barge. Um, the only thing that's on board for inventory is there's uranium in the reactor. Um, other than that, all inventory has been checked and cleared. There's no baggage on that ship. Um, external damage to the Gestrel. I replaced all of these with vanilla thrusters um, in the hopes that that was a problem, which it wasn't, so I'm pretty sure I can go back to the other thrusters. Um, I'm trying to think. I did a lot today. Uh, okay, let's go take a look inside here. Alright, so below deck. Um, oh. So below deck, you know, you'll notice I just cut that away. It doesn't change colors. We're still pressurized. I didn't do anything down here. Uh, well, I, I take that back. I added a bunch of oxygen tanks, both sides, another oxygen uh, manufacturing or refinery I guess you could call it here and on the other side so a little bit of redundancy there actually a lot of redundancy um, that's pretty much it um, I had placed this wall here b before but you guys saw me doing that on air 
Um, I hadn't done anything else down here. So the hole was not down here. Um, so next up is going to be um, probably buttoning up the Susie, getting her complete. Um, Got to do some resource management as well. Um, before I left that ice rock, I harvested quite a bit. Um, Temperatures were off. Uh, so let's see here. So I got 24,000 ice uh, waiting to be refined. Um, but I'm actually going to hold off because we come to here. I actually need to go here. Uh, thank you. How about tank you? Um, they're holding 12%. Each tank is holding 12%. Oh, and that one's a little bit lower. I think that was the one I put my uh, actual tanks in. Um, so, yeah, I have a few waiting, and I have one inside of this ship, and I believe one inside of the Sizzy shuttle. I'm not sure, but I know we have one here. We just looked at it, in fact. Um, these things are taking damage. That's what I thought. I was well, our grinding earlier, it was just like going really slow. And I was like, man, are these stubs hitting? So they are. So, yeah, I started out with the bulkhead here going across. Um, I can't remember if I did that where you guys saw it on air or not. And when that worked, I moved down here and I put a bulkhead across right here. And this side held air. And I was like, okay. So I moved it to literally right behind Susie and it held air and so I kept moving the bulkhead back until I got to here and so if I open this door by hitting the correct button you see that turned yellow and as soon as I close this door again it turns back blue so the hole is between this door in that door. Oops. That doesn't help. So, like I said, I have not tested the front part. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to be going through and checking things out and adding lots more armor and, or more plating, I should say. Let's see here. Um, I'm trying to think what all I've done. Um, I covered up all the thrusters, and then I realized a little bit later that it doesn't matter <clears throat> as long as the the front portion is sealed, then you're fine. Um, I thought I had a thruster revealed somewhere. I think I covered it up by doing this cosmetic pit bit here. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what I've been doing all day. Um, was grinding and welding, and then grinding some more, and then a little bit of welding, and so we got a lot more redundancies. We have. Six Six reactors on each side. We still have two refineries, two assemblers, um, f uh, three, six slim cargo containers, and four ice uh, or oxygen generators. There's one here, one underneath the floor, right about here, and same thing on the other side. So, like I said, I'll clean up these conveyors later. Uh, probably just fix the piping underneath the floor to be a little bit more 
Streamlined. Concise. Not sure where we'd want to go with this. So. But basically, every time I turn around, I find a hole like that. I've been putting plate in there because I'm not even sure what the oxygen restrictions are on the interior plates. Um, I'm lost lately because I keep wanting to go over there to that upright assembler, and there's ports everywhere to get things. So, hide empty. Take some of those. Okay, so we're low on steel plates because of, uh, well, all the plates have been adding. So I need to go on the side to that other ship, the barge, and uh, continue grabbing parts off of him. And there we go. So you can see in our bottom right hand corner, power use is just 0.07. Um, I have to go back and look at other videos, but I am pretty sure that uh, our power usage was higher than that at idle. So, I am also positive that um, Sizzy's lost weight. Or not Sizzy, sorry, the Castrell has lost weight. It was at 2.5 million before, and it's sitting at 2484. So, I'm not sure if the other thrusters are more dense, but um, now before we grab oxygen from our bottle, there. Should still be at 100%? It is, okay. So, it looks like uh, uh, Sean said something. Uh, in one of my in one of the YouTube comments about um, the bottles refill between thirty to forty percent, so um, I've been trying if I'm on board the Castrell to come over to the Med Bay and refill off of here. Oh, and speaking of which, Sean has cleaned up a new. suit okay let's go over here in the light nice looking good Sean yeah that looks awesome And for those of you who haven't seen it, so let's take a look at the uh, supporter suit. Yeah, this is so awesome. Nice work, Sean. Yeah, there's your little minion hiding there on the back of the helmet. That's really awesome. There's thing one. And thing two is on the inside in the orange, I believe. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's right there. So, yeah, this is a supporter suit. A bunch of you guys who comment on the YouTube videos and stuff, uh, your names are on here on uh, numerous places. The bigger supporters are uh, more prevalent <laughs> okay so yeah I'm, I spent all day cleaning this ship up and uh, yeah it was kind of frustrating at points and it's like really are you serious it's as simple as that and I did that several times so uh, My plans going forward are to continue to work on the Castrell. Um, there was a few YouTube comments about just scrapping the idea of fixing the Castrell and just building a, that new ship. 
Uh, and it was awesome because the follow-up comments to that were, as long as I don't make it look like an ice cream sandwich, which I'm pretty sure he's talking about this guy, this guy, pretty much everything I build is a brick. Well, they don't need to be aerodynamic in space, so they would just been building function first. So with that being said, um, the Castrol has great lines. That's why I'm really hard pressed to uh, to set her aside and move on to a different chip. So we're going to continue to work with the Castrol. And um, my comments were that basically, if I were to do that. Um, and end up building a sister ship, parking her next to the Castrol, and building it as close to the Castrol as possible. So, um, going forward, barge getting, uh, well, not exactly mothballed. It's going to get torn down, stripped for parts. Uh, I'm going to put all the parts into the Castrol. So, the docking collar. Let's go take a look at that. I'm not even sure where it came out at. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's not usable. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's not usable. I'm going to have to fix that. I think I'll just plug that back up. Um, well, top doesn't work because that's no tubing up there. So we need to put some tubing down here, probably right about there. And uh, hey, that looks like a plan right there. So we're gonna put some tubing in and connect this up. Actually, we're gonna put it here. Uh, reason being is because it's a straight shot. So. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do that. That'll allow us to add uh, supplies from when we're grinding up this ship and also things like ice when we bring back the Reaper. I'm probably going to put small ones internally. Whoa, internally is over here. So if we do it with a drone, we can bring the drone back and dock the drone. Because the Android doesn't really have the capability to do that, as the couple is right here. So, but if we made another drone like the Bat drone, where it had a drill on it, or two or three, then that's how we would probably want to do that. So, might look at doing something similar to that for the Bat. So, and. Yeah, scatterbrain bouncing all over the place today. Uh, the truck is probably going to go away too. Um, I think what it'll probably end up doing is capturing one of the... Uh, wow, that thing's massive. Do I have anything in our inventory? Yeah, we got a few things in our inventory. Let's go drop these off and we're going to go take a look at that guy. All right, so let's go take a look at that, and um, hopefully it doesn't disappear before we get out there. I want to see if they've changed any of these up since uh, this new patch, which I'm pretty sure they would have. And also, that looks like really close debris. Hmm. It looks like a lot of close to where you're right out there. All right, so let's. This thing just looked so massive, because uh, it is. Let's take that off. So 
So you would think that a lot of these large ships would have had to have been completely reworked. I can't get much closer. Um, much in the way how we're reworking our ships. So... be awesome to get on board one of these ships and see how they reworked it. Definitely looks like it's changed shape quite a bit. I think I'm getting into range. Yeah, I'm getting close to. Oh, I thought they would have started shooting by now. Oh, there he goes. So, yeah, it definitely has changed its overall look and design. Guess they should have brought a small ship out here with the uh, camera on it, huh? What was that home? Oh, he's like, whoa, look at that. Let's go over there. So that's kind of how I found stations in the past is just like that, how they're how that's glimmering like that. Um, So yeah, that's kind of how I found stations in the past is just they'll be so massive and shimmering and and whatnot that they just kind of stick out and it's like, oh, hey, that's something man made over there. So that's where you go. So a little bit of distraction. We're just going to kind of float out here. Um, worst case scenario, we die. Uh, good thing happened is we would find something and it would have oxygen in it if we'd fly back oh um so um seven days to die has finally hit an update and um I will be looking to be putting out some content for that here really soon. Um, I stopped playing on the grounds that uh, I don't like playing early access games that are not getting any new content. So um, oh, there's a lot of stuff out here, a lot of debris. Let's slow down. Um, so. They've completely patched the game, and it's basically in a new game. So I will uh, be doing some recording here soon. I'm going to be basically starting over because, well, they recommended it. So, well, there's just so much debris right here. It's, it'd be easy to to miss something cool. Um, so yeah, I'll be, uh, having a season two of that. I guess the first time really wasn't a season. It was more just like a, a romp through the game. And, uh, so be, uh, doing a little bit of seven days to die and space engineers. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that when they'll start coming through. Now, I should probably start seeing videos for those probably by Monday. Um, at least that's how I'm, my itinerary is mapping it out to go. So. Man, what do I do to just find a really rockin' space station? <laughs> I mean, 
it wouldn't be as cool as ours, but uh, it'd still be cool to find something. Yeah, so far I've only found one space station in the game, and both times I found the space station it was the same exact one. So. Just trying to keep my eyeballs open for for something, anything. No, not seeing anything yet. Floating off into the abyss. I mean, if you're okay with dying, this would probably be pretty, uh, pretty epic, pretty, uh, pretty tranquil. Okay, so that ship we found is that way, so. So we're going to kind of head out over this way. Uh, we're just going to do this for a few more minutes and we'll probably just wrap up with me drifting off into oblivion. <laughs> uh, I'm just, the reason I get quiet is because I'm scanning and just really focused on trying to find something. Said I should have brought a ship with a camera. I get those w world saves, and it's just like, oh man, is my game gonna crash? That would suck. Something tells me we're generating new new stuff. Okay, that right there. See how that's glimmering like that? In the past, for me, that's been a station. So we're going to that. be depressing get over there it's just gonna be like this little speck of a rock it's not even a big rock it's just like a little speck okay yeah I really think we're generating all new stuff that's why this is uh, being all chunky like this Oh, I've got my fingers crossed. It's green. It says antennas. That looks like a station. We have a home away from home, guys. Is it opens fire on us? <laughs> What's it look like? Oh, whoa! It looks like the ISS. Oh, wow! That is just.
That is just awesome. Oh, it's got a ship. Holy crap. I have a feeling, guys, we might be moving. Are you friendly, dude? I don't want to take a chance. Um, it did not like that. That turned everything off when I did that. Sorry, man. <laughs> you freak me out. Okay, so... There's not much in the way. Inventory, control panel, series. Oh crap, I know what happened. Uh, no, now we're running out of power. Um, um, where, uh, where are we? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm freaking out here. GPS, new. From current position. Okay. So let's get over to the ship. Oh um, no. Uh, I know oxygen's low. Oxygen tanks in here? No. Okay, so what I did was is um, when I switched ownership like that, I screwed with the um, merge blocks. Um, that was a totally bad idea on my part. Wow, it's a lot of guns. Um, well, this sucks because I'm pretty sure we're about to die. I'm just hoping that the waypoint I just saved is going to be good enough for us to find our way back. Um, I just I can't figure out where we're going in this thing yet. Yeah, I'm really hoping that we can find our way back. So we ended up losing gravity. We lost everything when I did that. And that was just severely a no bueno. Yeah, I know. Thank you, soothing voice. I'm just struggling with these doors. I've never been a fan of these doors.
Man, could you imagine, like, well, like I am right now, and the fit to try to find where you need to go, and you're struggling to get through these doors. You're gonna die here soon. Thank you, soothing voice. And we start taking damage. Three, two, one. Yeah, we can't move no more. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up here. Um, our next episode, I think we uh, might be taking a flighted, a flight path out here. Um, Oh, thank you, soothing voice. I will probably use um, either <laughs> this, uh, the Kestrel shuttle or even the Kestrel itself. Um, Grinder set adrift. Um, so we could respawn there. Um, I guess that would show us where the medical room is, but uh, oh, that one's got power. So there is one, two, three, four medical rooms there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just one more thing before I go. Um, hey, we spawned inside. That's a plus. Um, Okay, so I also did some testing with our medical bay over here, and um, it's whoa on the wrong gravity well. Uh, it's touchy at best. Um, basically, what I did was is I put one of these guys in here, and see green or blue. So if you reveal a lot, pretty much any open space. So like the gaps between the oxygen tank, I believe that sets it off. Yeah. So it really, you have to be really touchy on how you build your systems now. Um, so the fun part is, is I even encapsulated the other side of that. See, this is all boxed in, but for some reason, it still doesn't like it. So, I don't know. It's going to take some work, um, definitely some planning. And um, 60,000 meters away, that way, is uh, what looks to be a pretty rocking space station. So, we might get rid of some of those merge blocks, make it one big entity. Um, I don't know. We'll go take it out tomorrow or the next episode. So this is Havoc. Uh, have fun and keep gaming.